Welcome back to Finney's Flies. We're going to do another pattern here. One of my favourite uh, styles is the dabblers. Um, what we're going to be doing now is one that uh, about April time that came up with the idea for this one. You've got the Watson Bumble, so what we're going to be doing time now is the Watson Dabbler. So without further ado, let's tie the Watson Dabbler. Now we start off with the Camasan B175 number 10. Set in the silk, this is black gutterman, touch and turns, bring it right down to the bottom. What we're going to be using for the tail on this one, it's a cock pheasant dyed claret. Tail wants to be approximately one length of the hook. Catch him in. Silver UTC wire. Catch him in. Right, the first uh, portion of the body, what we're going to be using, is red seals fur. So dub that on. And this one now I've just added a wee bit of glister. This is just to uh, give it a bit of sparkle when it's in the water. Add a bit more. Once he's on, then we put the second half with a black dubbin. Bring it back one turn just to, to match in. Jointed bodies uh, can be a bit difficult to uh, equalise once you're happy enough. Bring it double in. As you see, I leave quite a bit of a, a gap on here. The reason that is uh, it gives you plenty of room to get the body hackle and the front hackle. Next part, we we'll tie in black saddle. One full turn at the front and four turns coming backwards. Secure the body hackle with four turns with the silver wire. Then what I usually do, as I said before, I call this breaking the hackle, the back of the hackle there. Just give a bit of profile, stroke these back. Streamlines the fly that wee bit more. Build up a wee bit of silk. Then we finish the fly with bronze mallard. Can't stress, good quality, premium bronze mallard, every time, tying dabblers there, get a quality fly each time. Bronze mallard, literally just fold it in half, set him in front of you on the hackle, the actual fibres just touching the tail, hold it, catch it at the back, and then just roll. And what you're doing is just rolling the the bronze mallard around the fly. Once you're there, all we're doing is teasing that out. Just teasing it all the way around. Catch them in, stroke, come back, and next time you're over there, you'll see the bronze mallard starting to spin round. Once you caught him in, Lay the front out, trim off the excess, then what we do, just start to build up the head. Once you're happy enough with the proportion of the head, we finish it, trim and secure. You see what I mean about uh, the bronze mallard 
the way you put it on there, by spinning it round on it there, gives a lovely proportion to the fly. Very good early season fly, and for the back end of the season as well. So, so as we say over here, happy wrappings.